Hey there friends, Chef Brent here at you again. Tonight we're going to be cooking uh, one of my favorite dishes, rockfish and uh, clams. So I've got about a tablespoon of butter in, the, in my pan. <coughs> got my nice piece of uh, rockfish here. So I can get a little better light for you. Got a little bit of uh, salt and pepper and uh, Old Bay. And we're just going to put it on the seasoned side down. If I can get a hold of it here. And when you're putting your fish in, always put it away from yourself when you're putting it in. So if there's any splash, the butter is splashing away from you, not towards you. So we got our nice rockfish down. Uh, we've got some little neck clams. We're gonna um, do a little white wine sauce and broccoli with the clams. And uh, it's nice to do uh, andouille sausage. You can add to this if you want to do a little apple smoked bacon or syrup sausage or anything like that. But I got my pan on high. Uh, like I said about a tablespoon of butter. And that's probably about a good six to eight ounce piece of uh, rockfish here. So we've had her in the pan for about, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, second twelve. Uh, about a minute and a half now. We're gonna do about two minutes, three minutes on this side. We'll flip her over. We have our garlic, our clams, broccoli, our Sauvignon Blanc. And then we're gonna cover it and let it cook for about another four minutes. Get some nice color to them. And you can use any firm uh, white fish with this. Um, Tau Tok, uh, Mahi, Cobia is really nice this way. You do the flounder, but uh, to be gentle with it. But the, yeah, the flounder done this way is, is, is an excellent way to prepare flounder too. And I'm just going to add a little bit more Old Bay on the back of the fish here too while we're uh, waiting for a little cook time. Alright, we're about three minutes in now. Go ahead and give our fish a flip. Once again, always put the fish away from you. Oh yeah. Get some good color going on there. I'm trying to move the camera up the stand too much myself. Don't have the steadiest hand in the world. So now we got our uh, fish just flipped over. Go ahead and add our uh, little more on that clams there. I'm going to do eight tonight. Go ahead and get, our, uh, get some garlic in here. Guy, so. Just gonna get in here and toast it. Oh yeah, it's starting to smell. Smells good. I'm gonna add uh, some Sauvignon Blanc here. Turn up the color the side, up to where the sides of the pans are. And then more. That way we leave enough time for our clams to cook and open. And our fish can be completely cooked. And we'll have a nice sauce in the pan after the clams open up. Oh, 
Oh shoot, almost forgot. Let's go ahead and put our broccoli in too, so our broccoli can steam in all of our wholesome goodness. Asparagus is wonderful in this. Broccoli is just what I have laying around the house tonight. Alright, so we're going to lay it on a full burrow. Use my pan here to cover it up. If you have a nice, if you have a lid that will fit your pan, you can do that. So we're going to pause for a few minutes and I'll be back in just a few and we'll finish up the dish. Alright friends, we've been about uh, maybe five, maybe six minutes. And then what we want to do is just cook till our clams are open up. The broccoli's getting nice and soft there. And we'll push on my fish and see how we're... Right, fish needs just a hair longer. So I'm going to go ahead and get our clams out of here. Also, it's nice too because you get your little. Oh, there's one that's not trying to open. But when the clams open up, you got that nice clam juice getting into your uh, whatever wine. You can use Chardonnay, like I said, Sauvignon Blanc, because that's what I happen to have in the fridge. Uh, you can get your flavors from your garlic and the butter. And if you add any other proteins, such as uh, sausage or bacon, you'll get that smoky flavor. It's really nice in it too. There we go. Get in there, you little sucker. That's right. If the clams don't look like they've opened, if you've been in there for four or five minutes, just get the pan a little shake like this. And, uh, they should start to, they should open up for you once you give them a little shake. Broccoli's cooked just perfectly. I went ahead and cut my broccoli down to bite-sized pieces so I don't really mess with a knife while I'm enjoying my meal. All the way that garlic over there, broccoli. Mm. Two minutes. I'm gonna break real fast while we're uh, waiting for the fish to cook, and we'll uh, come back and finish the sauce. All right, we're back. Our fish is uh, so we can get a little more focus there. Our fish is nice and cooked. So we've got our pan juice here. Slide in right on the plate. Oh my gosh, that smells delicious. Just to drop more wine in here because our or reduced down just a hair more than I wanted. So, maybe a little deglazing and some of that goodness up there. We come back to a boil. Put in a little bit of butter. You can use more or less than you if you like it this way. I like that. I think we got about two tablespoons in here for this one. I like the good buttery sauce. It goes well with the uh, clams and the uh, fish. I'm gonna swirl that in. Heat up there. All breaks, the sauce breaks up. Alright, quick taste test. 
Oh, yep, that's Catwoman. That's perfect. And there we have the rockfish, clams, and broccoli. And we'll just call it our little uh, Sauvignon Blanc garlic butter. Quite delicious, easy to make. You can do it at home. Like I said, if you have any questions, send me something on Messenger or uh, any way you know how to get in touch with me. Hope everybody enjoys it and uh, have a great night.